These level 4 upgrades are enormous and are going to take a hell of a lot of time and resources to complete them. So to help ease the burden of these upgrades, we're going to construct some new builders. We're going to start off with just the one new builder for now and see how we manage with them. The position of this one here should hopefully keep the workflow more steady for these agricultural builds at least. We do have a new worker assigned to be the builder with Brita, which we will recall, and eventually she will begin the construction order for the hut there, so long as I take care of any nasties that try to get to her. Ah, uh, well, that works. We'll quickly make up another resource scroll, then link it up to her hut, just so we can see what she's going to pick up, which in this case is nothing, uh, because we need to actually build the building. There we are then, everything she's going to require to build her own level 1 builder's hut, which is ridiculously simple, so I will leave that to her and the colony. The other two builders, Jane and Alison, are upgrading some houses to level 4 for us. Jane is only 40% done with the upgrade to her house behind her, whereas Alison is a bit further ahead, being 90% done with her upgrade. And we can see where all of these new coloured blocks are going into. At least the place does look quite different. And by the looks of it, I think we may be getting a second floor. Damn, these houses are so well decorated. Both those builders are 100% supplied. We are probably just going to be doing some water sorting or just getting stuck underneath the building. That's equally as helpful. But eventually they will get their arses into gear and actually get those buildings up and construct for us, then we'll move them on to some more interesting level 4 upgrades. I seen that we've maxed out our current population, we have 50 of 50 idiots, and we require some research to unlock even more idiots for the colony, which research is Hamlet and is going to require 128 steak. We have plenty of raw beef within the colony, so we'll grab those out and start that upgrade. After we Cook it into steak, of course, which uh, might take some time. Right, Brita, how are we getting on? What do you want? You are just simply wanting in some basic tools at the moment. That's absolutely fine. There you are then. You take in all of those stone tools. No idea why you have diamond stuff there. And here's a few items towards your build at the moment. Of course you're full. But that's good. We are now pretty much supplied for this upgrade. So long as nothing kills her out here, she should get that up pretty quickly, I reckon. Alison, we are going to need to stop going into the water here. I can't keep recalling you every two seconds. I don't even know why you guys need to go into the water just to sort it. Being on land is much safer and faster. Yeah, that's my bad there, but please get down. Just finish this off. I want to move on to something else. Oh, who the hell is this now? Perfectly good roads there, courier. For f sake, you absolute f piece of f face. Well, good news. We have yet in another idiot. Right, Agnes. Get out there. Go get killed. I'm slowly losing the will to live. In better news, however... In better news, however, the exact same Brita definitely is 40% done with the Builder's Hut. So we'll get this up to level 1 pretty quick, then we'll start upgrading it to level 4. And if she survives long enough, we'll then start upgrading some of the agricultural builds around here, I think. I unfortunately just missed it, but that was Agnes just finishing off with the level 4 house. And yes, indeed, we do have a ladder taking us up onto a second floor here. Oh, very nice. Right, let's move her on to a bigger project then, the warehouse. Which I'm sure is going to be a 
ridiculous build upgrade. No, you know what, actually, it's fairly reasonable compared to the others. Just a lot of resources going to be required for them, which the colony can certainly handle at this point. So let's get that up to level 4. And by the looks of it, Nubrita may just be about to flag off with her builder's hunt. Yep, indeed she was. Excellent work there, Nubrita. Let's get you upgrading this to level 2 next. We still have about another 45 minutes probably closer to an hour before the hamlet research is complete. So whilst we get on with that research, let's maybe start a few other ones, such as Ambition to unlock the mystical site, and Remembrance to unlock the graveyard, which will give us access to a further two new buildings to put down. What do we need for the Enchanter, actually? We don't need any research for the Enchanter's Tower, actually. Just simply an enchanting table. Which will be simple enough to make, actually. Uh, finding room for it, however... That may be an issue. And at some point in the future, I'm sure the colony will request in an enchanting table. So we'll teach the mechanic the recipe for it. The Enchanter, Mystical Site and Graveyard Build are classed as mystical buildings. And the Enchanter at level 1 is an awkward building unfortunately. A lot of stone and grass required for it, rather than it being built on stilts. It does look pretty epic at level 5 though I must admit. But yes, finding a space for that monster. Stir. Ah, uh, that may take a bit of planning. Although we certainly have a lot of space over in this area of the colony, maybe we could place those buildings over here somewhere. It's the exact same story with the mystical site actually. This is more land-based than water-based, I think. And level 5, it's practically the same, except we have this what of the hell statue that is of. But yes, because of all the stone blocks involved here, we may need to put that somewhere a bit shallower than deep in the water. The graveyard, however, we won't need to put in shallow water, seeing as the building goes quite far down. It really doesn't change too much from level 1 to level 5, so I'm guessing that most of the changes happen down within these blocks below. Oh yes, this is where all the dead bodies are going to be buried, which for this colony is certainly going to be numerous. We'll plan those buildings out properly later, but that was Jane just finishing off with the level 4 house. Thank you very much Jane. Ah, uh, let's maybe look into the university next, which I already know is going to be an absolute monstrous upgrade. Oh, look at the sheer amount of items required. How are we getting on then, Brita? I see we are 100% supplied for the level 2 upgrade, but we've not really done too much to the build inside. Or were you just slacking, just waiting on me coming by to kick your ass into action? As for Agnes and the warehouse upgrade, we are pretty much getting in everything for it already. That is quite a lot of green concrete, which I may need to help with here. My cauldron concrete mod doesn't seem to be working here, Effie, so you just take in all this green powder and you craft all the concrete for us. Whatever happened to that other concrete mixer? Right, the university. What can we maybe help with here? Framed block of diamond, white concrete and a block of diamond. And you want eight of those? Uh, sure, why not? That sounds cheap enough. I assume this is going to be the stone mason's recipe then. I think that's right. Most of the other items on the list here, the colony should be able to get for them. I may need to get them some obsidian. Ugh, slime block. Of course. Although I think we may have quite a lot of slime balls in stock, thanks to that weird ship full of them. Full of slimes, that is. Uh, two. Okay, maybe not. Well, at least I've got some in stock, so they can just simply take that from me. Alright then, Brita. We level two yet? If not, why not? 75% done, I see. 
water sorting I see, you're just like the rest of those idiots. Seriously, of all the things I haven't taught the colony, how to make oak planks. There's a brewing stand on the list there as well, which I will teach, and there's a the research complete. But oak bloody planks, of all the things. Also you, stop jumping, back to work. I can't even hit any of these idiots anymore, seeing as my kangaroos get a bit mad. And that was Burita, just finishing off with her hut up there actually, brilliant. And that looks as if another research has just been completed there as well, Remembrance. So that's the mystical site and graveyard builds now unlocked for us. Right, level 3 next then Burita, and we're going to require some blaze rods in order to make the brewing stand of course. Which unless Unless I have any in stock, that may be a trip into the nether for some, which I low-key kind of hope, because then that gives me something to do. Ah, bugger. I'm way too prepared sometimes. And even better, I have a brewing stand in stock. Okay. Well, there's the hamlet research just been completed there as well, so that's expanded out our colony's population. I will check on that in a minute. I have a delivery here for the concrete mixer. Both the university and warehouse require about 1,000 pieces of white concrete between them. So here's a small delivery for you. Also, I think you could be doing with a better pickaxe. Give me a moment. You are only a level 3 worker, but can you use netherite? No, maybe the short answer to that. Right, take a diamond one. And I think I've broken the concrete mixer. Perfect. Get back to work or I'll set the kangaroos on you. Well it turns out she can only use stone tools so good to know. And also I think I will just see if I can get that data pack working again. This is going to take forever otherwise. Yep there we are. Much better. Well now that I've supplied all the builders with all of the concrete they're going to require I see that Brita is 20% supplied for her upgrade, Agnes is 100% supplied for the level 4 warehouse, and Jane is 60% supplied for the university. Which just goes to show you that the concrete is quite a significant portion of these upgrades, and that concrete mixer is bloody useless until we upgrade her to level 4. Then she'll still be bloody useless. Okay, really? Oak slabs? Really? Has something changed when I updated the mod here and removed some of my recipes? Surely I've taught everything oak related. Oh, don't you be doing it game! No rain. Rain usually symbolises that things are about to stop and someone's about to die. You know, just in case, let's teach this idiot everything oak related. Maybe I haven't taught them anything. I doubt it but safer than sorry. Well, we survived another night, no casualties at least, and Agnes is straight back out upgrading the warehouse, of which I think we're maybe getting in some decorative trees, and of course, our lovely white concrete. You, stop jumping. Oh well, so much for no deaths. I don't know how much of the university has been upgraded, or indeed if she's actually done much to it at all already. I do know that the library within it has been upgraded to level 3. Basically, all we got in was some extra carpets. The same with the school, actually. Just some more carpets, and I think that was an ocean creeper being killed there. The guards actually doing their job for once. But Jane is out here constructing away. This is the third floor that she's working on and I see we are putting in a lot of decoration into this area here. This was basically just a open space originally and now I think we might be getting some form of a walkway or I have no idea. But we are 20% done with the upgrade, so I will leave her to it. It's certainly going to take a time, especially if all we're going to do is bounce her way around. Brita is 100% supplied for her upgrade and is 40% done. Just once again, slacking, waiting on me appearing. Oh yes, I meant to check in on our 
population increase, which we are unfortunately down to 49 idiots at the moment and require some more housing to get more. But now that we can upgrade our houses to level 4, that should give us access to another 5 to 10 idiots I believe. I can't remember how many houses we have in the colony in total, but we are just going to keep on expanding. There's yet another house that we need to build, which will be for you, Brita, after you upgrade this to level 4. We'll get you moving on to that afterwards. The warehouse upgrade is fast approaching 50% completion. I do see a lot more decoration already in here. The place is already looking so much better. And we would be making more progress if Agnes hadn't got herself stuck in some shelves. There is no help me step bro in this playthrough, get back to work. Once we do get the build up to level 4, then we'll be able to unlock the fourth and final courier hut within it, which should give us access to 8 couriers in total, and I think we then pretty much have that covered. We have the 4 outside and the 4 inside, so at some point we'll need to place down a further 2 couriers, and that's all the couriers we're going to require for the warehouse. Oh, and I think this decoration here for the university is the beginning of the lens for the observatory. We may be about to open up the spruce roof here to the observatory itself. Oh, well, that could be very interesting. Just a shame that it is still going to take so long. We are only 40% done with this. Well, that was Brita just finishing off with her own builder's hut. We'll get that up to level 4 next. And there's Agnes finished off with the level 4 warehouse. We'll get those couriers upgraded. Excellent work today, chaps. Excellent work indeed.